radiation uh, ultra microtomy on the Leica EMUC7 ultra microtome for thick and thin sections for electron microscopy. So to start, we have some materials here that we need to gather for the procedure. We'll have some duster, a beaker, forceps, a syringe with a filter, another syringe, chloroform, diamond knife, and a glass knife with the boat. We'll have our grids and a perfect loop. This is the interface display that we'll be using. Um, and I'm just gonna go over a few things on the display so you're familiar with them. This is the counter window. The illumination settings are here. The return speed setting, medium, high, and low here. North and south step size setting, it's right here. Sorry, this is the course movement, and this is the step setting right here. This is the approach. Your east and west fine movement settings are here. The east and west step and continuous movements are here. The feed setting is here, as well as the cutting speed setting. And the start and stop for the motorized cutting settings there. The active speed feed value is going to be right here. And the cutting window setting, start and end there. The speed and feed memory setting is going to be here. The total specimen advance indication is going to be this up here. Okay, so we're going to start uh, trimming our block. We want our block from our resin block here to have a face that's one millimeter by one millimeter and preferably in the shape of a trapezoid. Okay, next thing we'll do is exchange our knife block by adjusting the clamping lever to release it. And we're gonna exchange it out with the trimming block. tighten the clamping lever to hold it secure and then I'll release the segment arch because I'll use this to trim the block. I'll unlock this clamping lever as well and then tighten it. Put my untrimmed block in the holder and tighten with the special Allen screw. Make sure it's tight and secure. Okay, so once the block is inside of this holder here securely, we can start facing. Uh, but before we do that, we wanna be able to make sure that we can see what we need to see through the stereoscope that's equipped with the ultra microtome. Um, so first and foremost, the zoom magnifier changer or magnification changer is right here. Goes from 0.75 all the way to six. The focusing knob is here. The eucentric movement knob is not on this one, but it does have the north and south movement knob, which moves this top component of the ultra microtome um, north and south along your, your specimen. Okay. And now I'm just gonna start trimming the face. I like to start out with the left or right side of the, the razor. That, that way you can go along the razor as you're cutting to keep the, uh, the razor that touches your, your face that you're trimming with um, 
nice and sharp because it doles out after each cut practically. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll remove our trimming block and the segment arm. We'll release the clamps, put the segment arm back in its place. And tighten it back here with this lever. And we'll Put the diamond knife, the knife stage back onto the stage. Okay, once we have our knife stage in here locked and secured with the clamping lever, we're going to add our glass knife. This is, we'll tighten it with the clamping screw for the knife here. Okay, so when we unscrew this clamping screw for the knife holder, it'll allow us to adjust the setting of the clearance angle of the knife. And as you can see, that goes from zero all the way up. And so we like to use a recommended setting that's on the diamond knife. And for this particular setting, it is gonna be on number six for the clearance angle of the knife. And this right here is the precision, precision drive for the pivoting of the knife. And this is gonna move your, your face um, you know, around, um, move your knife around the, the face of your, your block, depending on the angle of your, your block. Okay, so after your adjustments are all made and you can clearly see your, your knife, the boat reservoir, and the block, then you can begin. So the first thing I'll do is I'll fill up the boat with deionized water. You want to fill it up just until you can see a shiny reflection on the surface of the water. So I'll use the this screw right here. This is the rotation of the specimen holder. So once you're close enough to your knife here. Once your block face is parallel and close enough, yeah, we can go ahead and let the automated settings take over. And if you look over here on the speed, it's at 100. And the feed in nanometers is 1000. So that's gonna be our perfect size for thick sections. So we can go ahead and press start. And we wanna keep looking just to make sure nothing crashes into the knife. After we exchange our glass knife out with the diamond knife, we can prepare our boat by filling it up with a syringe full of water and we want to fill it up in a, in a way that 
the light on the bottom of the boat of the water um, below reflects and it appears that there will be like a white blanket and there so now that it's all reflected and it appears white you have enough water and you just want to make sure that the space between the diamond edge and the block is parallel Okay, so now that my diamond knife is in place and aligned with my block face, I'll go ahead and carefully adjust the north and, set, north and south um, the fine movement here. And actually this is the coarse movement. So I'll just carefully let it approach. Um, this moves the knife closer and further away from our block face. So I'm gonna move it north, closer to the block face, so it gets really close. And at the same time, I'll move the wheel just so I can make sure that it's not, not touching yet. And once I get close enough, we can let the automated settings for ultra thin nano sections. We can let them make the, the movement. So for our thin sections, using the diamond knife, we'll wanna use a setting here that has a shorter feed distance. So for this particular case we'll be using 50 nanometers because we want thin sections which are 50 to 70 nanometers thin and again the thick sections that we cut earlier with the glass knife are one micron thick and our ultra thin sections will be 50 and as you can see it goes from 100 speed to 1.00 Okay, after we adjust our speed here for ultra thin sections, we can create our window. And we'll start up here by moving the hand wheel to the position where it would be very close to cutting. So just, just a moment before the cut. And then we press start. And then you'll move the hand wheel clockwise to your block goes below the knife just after the cut. And that's where we'll end the cutting window. Okay, and another thing to note is the total specimen advance indication up here. That is the 10 red shaped bean bar that indicates um, your advancing uh, of your stage. So it will need to be reset once this reaches 200, the maximum um, amount of advance you can do, which is 200 micrometers, it will, it will stop and you, you'll have to reset it um, in order to continue. And the section counter is right here, and it is the section counter and total, uh, the feed totalizer. And what this display does is it shows the total advance and the total number of sections cut from the moment of clearing setting. So this will count down or count up and it allows you to keep track of how far you're cutting into your section. So for instance, if you're looking for glom inside of a kidney, you'll wanna cut uh, a predetermined distance into your sample. Press start on the automation. As you can see, it's following the cutting window that we preset. The east and west fine movement will adjust your knife in the east and west direction along your sample so you can find a 
a good area on your knife and be at the right position. Okay, so after our, we have a ribbon of thin sections, we can turn off the automated system here and we can go ahead and pick up our sections with the copper TM grid. But before we do that, we do want to thin out, um, flatten our sections with chloroform by gently waving a cotton swab dipped in chloroform um, over your sections. So now we're going to pick up the section with the grid. So I just have the grid on the end of some forceps here and then I, I'll dip it into the boat. Approach the sections. And when I'm right below them with the grid, just swiftly raise them and pick them up.